Hello, I'm Bill Faulkner and welcome to the 2019 SMRT Safety Video Podcast for MR Safety Week. Now this series of videos is produced exclusively for the SMRT. This year's series of videos has been addressing MR radio frequency coils, their use, and how that relates to safety. This is the fourth video in our series, so let's get started. Once again, welcome. In this video podcast, I want to look at RF coil power distribution maps and how they may need to be used in assessing any risk related to RF-induced heating. Here is a sample map from both a 1.5T and 3T Philips Ingenious system, courtesy of Toby Gilk. Since they are the same, we are going to zoom in on the 1.5 Tesla map. Now the horizontal axis represents the Z axis or head to foot axis of the magnet. So zero is isocenter. The vertical axis of the graph is the percent of RF power, so anything located at isocenter would be receiving 100% of the RF power. You can also tell by the map that this coil is approximately 0.6 meters or 60 centimeters in length. Now, if we were to have an item that was located 0.25 meters or 25 centimeters from isocenter, it would be receiving approximately 20% of the maximum RF power. If it were located here, it would be receiving approximately 10% of the RF power. This is a map courtesy of Siemens for a Prisma system. It shows a side view of the magnet. Again, the horizontal axis is the Z axis, so zero represents isocenter, 100% of the RF power. The further away from isocenter, the less the RF power. This map is from a GE 750W system and shows the same information. Now, these maps can be useful in assessing the risk of RF related heating based on an item's location within the RF transmit coil relative to isocenter. Remember, if it's not within the volume of an RF transmit coil, the risk of RF-related heating is very low. It's also important that you have the maps specific to your MR system's RF transmit coil. And that brings us to the end of this fourth video in our MR Safety Week 2019 video podcast. I hope you found the information useful. Be sure to look for the last video in this series. So until next time, this is Bill Faulkner. Thanks for the, taking the time to watch and take care.